Hi, I'm Steve Hargadon, and I want to invite you to join us for the first ever online Tiny House Summit, February 20th to the 24th. We have some great speakers. I hope you enjoy the following preview clips. Each day of our five-day event will have free presentations for you to watch with over 30 in total. Please do sign up to join us at tinyhousesummit.com, and we'll see you online. Because I started out just um, with my own belief that the system's pretty messed up right now, or I guess it was when I started doing this uh, 20 years ago or 17 years ago, um, I jumped straight to the solution rather than dwelling in the problem because the problem is something we've been dwelling in for an awfully long time. So I still go for the uh, let's just do it approach of, um, well, you know, common sense seems like a good thing to me still to this day. And we have a huge housing problem. Why not just use common sense and house people simply? Affordable housing by building affordable houses. The, the tiny house thing points to a very simple way of life and a simple, uh, you know, self, uh, a more informed sort of self. I tend to hang out a, a lot of people of um, the same mind who like to keep things simple. And a lot of us are just um, different in our way of thinking. Um, a lot of us not only like to stay outside the box um, so much as we could never actually make our way into the box in the first place, even if we tried. I guess I could I could say for myself there is a disability, but with that disability, there is so much strength too. I mean, I'd never design tiny houses if it weren't for my particular type of mind that um, contains not only dis disabilities or weaknesses, perhaps, if you want to call them that, in some areas, but compensating strengths in others. And as far as I can tell, everybody has some worth. Our culture is very eager to um, dismiss people as worthless, then we just send them off to jail or into some institution or wherever, wherever worthless people go, it's quote unquote worthless people. But um, so far as I can tell, everybody seems to have some value and we don't always recognize that. I mean, it's easy to see in our, in our current culture with very little focus on the arts, for example. And, you know, I guess if you're creating things, you don't get paid much or um, don't get paid much attention to at all, at least for some folks. My main passion is design, it really efficient design and figuring out what an archetypal house would be what really it boils down to in the end. And not just in terms of size, but in terms of the elements in the house. And my main passion is design, it really efficient design, and figuring out what an archetypal house would be, what really it boils down to in the end. And not just in terms of size, but in terms of the elements in the house and um, like, what is the most efficient wall? What is, you know, what's the most affordable wall with no extra parts that works great? So I've been, the sad part is I haven't released anything in those four years, so I've got all my best work in my bag right over there, um, just waiting to release it when I, <laughs> frankly, have the money to release it. It actually takes money to make money, and and you look at the people in the movement who have really made a difference and like, inspired others to do the same and they're not the ones saying you should do this you know what you gotta do you gotta live smaller it's the people who have lived as they want to live and inspired others by living in accordance with their true selves